Hello everyone, welcome to our very first puppet show. This week we're going to be using our shadow puppet theater that we made last time. So before we do our puppet show, we have to have some puppets. So there's several ways you can do this. Um, you can just go online and type in um, free puppets or shadow puppets and things will come up that you can print out and cut out and that's what I did I'm not a drawer I'm not that artistic um, so I just typed in I think it was Goldilocks um, puppet show or something like that and Goldilocks and the three bears um, puppet theater came up and so I printed them out now these are in color and for, for this, you don't, you, color makes no difference. It won't show through the screen. So you don't even have to print them out in color. But if you do print them in color, you can use these later on our regular stage. Okay, so it, this is kind of a twofer. So I printed them out and I cut them off. So I have Goldilocks. The three bears are actually all together. There's baby bear, mama bear, and pop bear. I've got big papa bear's bed. I have middle size mama bear's bed. And I have wee little baby bear's bed. And then I have the three bowls of porridge. Big papa bear, mama bear, and baby bears. And they're all on one. And then I have the three size chairs. I have great big Papa Bear's chair. I have medium sized Mama Bear's chair. And then I have wee little Baby Bear's chair. So a lot of parts for this one. So it is kind of difficult holding. Especially with this, you also have to hold the light. So you really can only hold one puppet in the hand and then the light behind that. Okay, so I printed those out, cut them out, and then basically I just, um, you can use any kind of small stick you'd like. I use still some of my, um, I had like little skewers that you would use with your barbecue. And I just broke them in half, make them smaller, and just glued them with um, Eileen's Tacky Glue to this because this is just a thick paper, thicker paper. It's kind of like a cardstock. Um, makes it last a little longer, and regular um, printer paper will just sort of curl. So it's better to use a slightly thicker cardstock for this and then just glue on the stick to the back to hold. And that's all you have to do. And of course, because um, this theater, we have to have the lights low so that we can hopefully see um, during our performance. So I've lowered my lights as much as I possibly can. And I also, I got this for Christmas. This is a massive light. So it's much better than the one I had last week to illustrate. So for instance, I'm going to show you my chair. And my light is way back here. And I put my chair right up. And I hold my light sort of down. And you can see the chair. All right. The rocking chair. And here's Goldilocks. Get her right up under the screen. And there she is. You're not aiming the light directly at her. It's behind, but it's kind of facing down. You can almost see the color through there too. All right, so that's how it works. 
Shall we do the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Now, oh yes, I forgot to mention. I've got my big house here as well. And instead of a stick for my house, I used a straw and a straw that's got the little bendy section so that when I put this up against the screen, um, this goes completely flat. It's easier to get up there, whereas the sticks are straight up and down, you can't bend. So this is also a really good thing to possibly use is a bendable straw. And I glued that on with Eileen's tacky glue. All right, so I'm gonna put the house there first. And it's a pretty big house. Can we see it? Here we go. All right. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a great big house in the woods. It's a beautiful house. There was Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear. And one morning they came down to the kitchen to have breakfast. Papa Bear sat in his great big Papa Bear chair. Mama Bear sat in her medium-sized Mama Bear chair. And Baby Bear sat in his baby-sized chair. And they sat down to eat their breakfast. And their breakfast was porridge. Papa Bear had his great big bowl. Mama Bear had her medium-sized bowl. And Baby Bear had his Baby Bear-sized bowl but it was a little too hot to eat. So they decided to let it cool down and they went for a walk. While the bears were out for a walk, a little girl came by. Her name was Goldilocks. Do, 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 do. And Goldilocks looked through the windows of the house and didn't see anyone there. She went up to the front of the house and knock, 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 knocked on the door. Nobody answered. Now, if nobody answers a door, do we go in? No, we should not, but Goldilocks did go in the door. And when she went in, she saw, and she was really, really tired from her walk in the woods. She saw a great, big chair and she sat in it and she said oh my that's much too hard and then she sat in the next chair which was the medium-sized mama bear chair she said oh my that's much too soft and then she saw the itty bitty little baby bear chair and she said oh my this is just right Then she saw the porridge and she was really hungry. She had been walking a long time. She tried Big Bear's bowl of porridge. She says, oh, that's much too hot. And then she tried Mama Bear's bowl of porridge and said, oh my, that's much too cold. And then she tried Baby Bear's porridge and it was just right. And while she was eating Baby Bear's porridge and sitting on his chair, the chair broke. So she was done her porridge. She decided she was really still tired. So she went upstairs to see what was there. Do, 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 She's going upstairs. And what does she find upstairs? 
she goes into one room and she sees a great big bed and she lay down in the great big bed and she said oh my this is much too hard so she went to the next room where she found another bed but it was a medium-sized bed she got in it and said oh my it's much too soft she went into the last room and there was another bed in there. It was little baby bear's bed. She got in it and said, oh my, it's just right. And she fell asleep. While she was sleeping, the bears came back from their walk. Do, 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 do. And they noticed as soon as they come in, came into the house that something wasn't right. Great big Papa Bear said, somebody's been sitting in my chair. Medium-sized Mama Bear said, and somebody's been sitting in my chair. And little Baby Bear says, somebody's been sitting in my chair and they broke it. And then they noticed their bowls of porridge. Great big Papa Bear said, somebody's been eating my porridge. Mama Bear said, Somebody's been eating my porridge. And little baby bear said, Somebody's eaten my porridge and it's eaten it all up. So they knew there had to be somebody in the house. So they went to check out the rest of the house. Upstairs they walked and they first went into Papa Bear's room. And Papa Bear said, Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And then they went next door to Mama Bear's room. And she said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And then they went into Baby Bear's room. And Baby Bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And she's still there. And at that moment, Goldilocks woke up, saw the bears and ran from the house. And the bears never saw her again. So that's how simple it is to tell a story just using pictures, a screen, and a flashlight. So please do try that at home. Just go online, Google a few words like free puppets or free um, free puppet shows, free anything that has to do with it. You will note that a lot of pictures come up. You even just choose graphics and it will take you to pages where you can actually print off and uh, either color or it comes colored um, different pictures for puppet shows. And if you do make puppets, take pictures of them for us so that we can see. All right. So I hope you enjoy uh, and join us again next week for another edition of our puppet show. Bye.